Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how you can set up and activate your brand new iPad. Uh, so this is the new iPad, the third generation, the 2012 model, whatever you want to call it, this is the latest model with the Retina display. It's very easy to set up, however, if you guys need any help, I'm right here, so let's go ahead and just jump right on in. Uh, so the first step is, once you get it out of the packaging, go ahead and find the button that is on the top right. Let's go ahead and just hold it for just one second or so, and it should start to boot up. Alright, so once you're ready to begin, go ahead and slide to set up. Uh, now you can go ahead and pick your language. So if you haven't need a different language than what it's automatically picked, you can go ahead and change to that. But in my case, go ahead and leave it alone. Uh, next, it says we'll go ahead and pick our country. Again, it's already got United States set for me, so we can go ahead and skip that. Uh, now the next thing is location services. Uh, so basically, if you enable it, it allows you the iPad to find your location. So some apps uh, will you know use your location if you want. Uh, normally, I will go ahead and recommend it, enabling it, but you know it's entirely up to you. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, next thing is we're going to need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Uh, so this is very simple. We'll go ahead and connect to mine real quick here. I do want to mention that if you do not have a Wi-Fi network, you can go ahead and plug your iPad in via USB to iTunes and allow it to set up that way. However, if you have a Wi-Fi network, it's much easier to do it this way. Uh, so next, we'll go ahead, go ahead and allow it to activate the iPad. Uh, it says that you can take up to three minutes, but obviously it took about four seconds. Uh, so, you know, of course your time will vary there. Uh, next up, you go ahead and set up your iPad. So if you already have a previous iPad or indeed any kind of iDevice, you can go ahead and allow it to restore from either an iTunes or an iCloud backup. However, if you want to start fresh, and I generally I recommend to do that, go ahead and just have uh, set up as new iPad ready and click next. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and sign in with an Apple ID. Uh, so again, if you've ever used iTunes, an iPhone, an iPod Touch, a Mac, pretty much you're going to have an Apple ID. So if you have it, go ahead and sign in. You can download all your apps and whatnot. But if you, this is your first Apple product, you can go ahead and create a free Apple ID. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with mine. I'll be right back. Now the next step is to set up iCloud. Now again, this is optional. You don't have to use it. However, I definitely recommend to. Uh, so for example, if you have pictures, you can take a picture on your iPhone and it can sync to your iPod, your iPad, your Mac, or whatever. So I definitely recommend using iCloud, although of course it is optional. But might as well use it. Uh, you can also change for the backup settings. So if you do use iCloud, you can simply back up your iPad so all your data can just be backed up every time. Or you can go ahead and back it up to your computer. Uh, of course, the choice is yours. But again, I'm going to go ahead and let iCloud handle all that. Now, here's a great option called Find My iPad. Uh, so let's say you lose your iPad or it's stolen or whatever happens. You can go ahead and be able to ping it on a map. Especially if it has GPS, you will be able to find it. And you have a much better chance of finding it or getting it back if it's stolen or whatever. So definitely recommend go ahead and use it. Although, again, all these are definitely very optional. But really, there's no reason not to use that. Next up, we have Siri Dictation. So what this allows you to do is if you go ahead and tap on the microphone button on the keyboard. You can simply speak and it will you know, type it all out for you. So you, know, you can use it. I definitely recommend to do that. Next step is diagnostic and usage. Now on the other hand, I definitely don't recommend to do this. Uh, this is totally optional basically if there's any crashes or whatnot on your iPad. It will send the data to Apple, but personally, I'd rather than not have that. So click next here. And next we will go ahead and register it with your Apple ID. So we'll go ahead and do that and hit next. All right, so we're all done here. We're all set up. We can go ahead and click start using iPad and we're here. So we can go ahead and start swiping through our home screens, using our apps and all that kind of great stuff. If you're interested in seeing more videos on the new iPad, be sure to hit up this playlist. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up.